Good afternoon on behalf of Calcutta Business School, myself, Dr. Shubhendu Muchundar. Today, I will speak on the subject talent acquisition, leadership, a value-driven HR strategy towards success. Basically, uh, I am interested to focus on this perspective today with a phenomena that currently due to pandemic, it is spreading like wildfire and leaving behind its deadly impact across the world. Very recently in one journal IMF predicted the contraction of the world economy in 2020 by 3% as compared to nearly 2.3% GDP growth in 2019. Some experts are already in position to predict and already projecting one of the worst recession the world had seen in the recent era. Whatever we have seen that while certain industries they are in a position to close up, lay off, retrenchment and some of the areas where they are struggling for their existence, some will come out as a champion, winner. So the situation, this recession, a certain set of companies like in the healthcare, uh, pharmaceutical, uh, medical equipments, online media, entertainment, e-learning, a part of education sector, uh, digital uh, gateway in payment option, food processing, etc. are witnessing increased demand and will create new job opportunities, whereas some of the sectors are under threat. So, one side opportunities created, another side we are seeing threat. Now, the basic strategic decision will be how to grasp these threats or convert the threats into opportunities or simultaneously it can be rather way with internal strength if some of the organization can adopt this change after retaining their manpower or this skill should be transformed into a new opportunities so that is a challenge so HR uh, people Experts, they say that talent is crucial for uh, here today for existence where the performance of this manpower is really a challenge and to measure their performance during this pandemic, it proves a Herculean task. Peter Drucker, I can remember uh, in deliberation of one of my teacher, Professor Dilip Roy once in the class told that Ducker told that profit is not the perfect measure of efficiency. It is the least imperfect measure of efficiency. So therefore, uh, only through profit, we cannot measure the efficiency, effectiveness, growth perspective of the organization. So therefore, the leadership today stands on talent acquisition and therefore, this talent acquisition is really in which perspective? Uh, in this perspective, uh, I will, uh, I can remember the very traditional mythological concept of Indian uh, ethos, which stands on the qualities of man. That means there are three gunas, which is depicted in the different chapters of the Gita, which we call that Shatto Rajo Tamo. The Shattik, it is one driven by what is pure, truth and compassionate. That means it is a quality where a leader should have. If not, then what will happen? That is another thing that Tamo Shik means Tamo. It is also another uh, driven in which it is quite impure dark and destructive, aimed at to hurt others 
Therefore, uh, we have studied uh, in or we normally teach in managerial grid leadership pattern of black and mountain concept where people autocratic that means they are very uh, very much production oriented orientation towards people is quite less and also another one is rajoshik that means that is ego driven so ego is good but if that is false ego it is quite dangerous so talent might be related to in different perspective uh, we can uh, therefore we can quote a very simple uh, uh, guideline which is just like a beacon for human characteristic that be and make that means first you want to be what is your role then make means transform we teach training development hrd intervention strategy that means individual uh, characteristics should be driven towards organization strategy be and make it is not my word it is the most significant direction of Swami Vivekananda. He told purity, patience and perseverance are the three essentials to success. So this purity is in the mythological concept that I have told, which is pure truth, trustworthiness, conscientiousness, that is Shatto. So this type of uh, activities which we have told, that is also required for the existence of these in the organization today in this crisis period where there is a huge social disruption which none had seen in this society last hundred years back. There was a disruption but not like that in so much in terms of its uh, density. So according to McKinsey's report, it is uh, in report of uh, July 2020, the five talent management practices which uh, can help the organizations through new ways of working during the post-COVID era. Most of the companies are uh, reimagining their personal practices to build organizational resilience and also they try to drive towards a new direction. So it is a challenge to the chief human resource officers CHROs, they try to keep people safe while fostering connectivity and caring in an intensely stressful time. Now we are saying uh, work from home, but how? How to maintain all types of uh, jobs cannot be performed from work, from home. So therefore we need some other interven uh, interventions which needs to be adopted in a new direction. So, working in a new environment, basically objective is to develop the moral. Moral means the degree of satisfaction. Moral is related to, uh, very much related to productivity. High moral and low moral. What is the relationship with the graph of productivity? High or low? It is now a subject of study. That means how to increase the level of moral. So in that case, that COVID-19 crisis is considering one of the uh, five, that set of areas, that means the talent management challenges. It is a leadership issue. It is a democratic participation leadership style with a different motive. That is hiring and firing the right people, learning and growing how to manage these learning organizations face a tension between confirming that there is a confrontation with the cost pressure in the downturn and the need of deliver the training to help workers adapt to a challenging working environment. Therefore, there is also another challenge that is how to reward people. In this case, we need one type of intervention that how to measure these uh, performance so that you will go for reward is a part of compensation management. Next, tailoring the employee experience. Employee experience and their connectivity have been on whole new meaning as extended work from home policies have required organizations to be intentional about the building each other because this is also 
employee experience will be one of the foremost important perspective and also uh, the fifth one the talent management strategy as per identified by mckenzie optimizing workforce planning and strategy that means there is a shift paradigm shift so this is there are in workforce planning strategy there are three components available one is the critical role that pool of the skills that we call skill inventory that means when we measure the motivation motivational potential score that is a skill identity task significance and skill variety where we try to compare with uh, measure with respect to autonomy and feedback so here the critical roles means the task identity is important the skill pool that means skill variety is important and therefore we try to maintain a system that is talent system so the action is more relevant now for the human resource officers or managers rather we can say them as leaders so transparently link employee goals to business priorities to maintain a strong element of flexibility therefore it is another perspective is to invest in managers mentoring skill and keeping rating for the very highest and lowest performers that means who is the highest level and the lowest because we have to categorically identify people in terms of managerial efficiency to give weightage to their own performance or performing deliverables so three stage of value driven technology or talent strategy it is identified by coca cola company the stage one is determining the company market value and intellectual capital value stage two that brand value which is already produced how it is created sustain and the growth perspective to be retained third stage is to availability of talent for the critical roles which are uh, identified so identification of the critical roles it should be maintained in different era and different criteria basis uh, we have seen another group they are working in uh, uh, for uh, a few decade almost i can remember last 20 years they are became very popular amoy group their talent acquisition vision is uh, basically uh, to promote the company to enable to become not just another employer of choice but uniquely recognized the organization is value based here the value creation of value is not in terms of economy that it has some esteem value where the protection of the employees and also its fellow stakeholders is one of the foremost uh, significant area which we need to uh, highlight and to activate this vision amoy has developed a framework uh, which is done in grounded in the uh, founding values of freedom family hope and reward it is a structural dimensions of amoy out of which they got success so therefore we are trying and we are facing the challenge that is it lies in measuring quality and the hiring and determining who is more responsible and the quality of hire should be based on some business value delivered through intellectual capital so this intellectual capital to measure it is also another important criteria which we try to determine and effective leadership in talent acquisition is um, one of the important issue is getting the right people at right time second one staying within the competition so it is competitive uh, we know that michael potter's potter's concept that uh, competitive advantage we want to retain within the competition and saving time and money and uh, to plan for the future perspective so in this uh, uh, onset of this uh, discussion for the talent uh, management perspective there is one concept that we try to focus that is related to measuring hr variable and which is the uh, utmost important in any business that means how to make in itself the competitions 
or restructuring of the organization. Next, uh, reskilling of the existing manpower. Next, uh, redesigning plan, that is promotion, transfer, etc. in which way it should be logical. Managing uh, the employees, different groups of employees, that means skilled, unskilled, semi-skilled, uh, temporary, permanent, and also some uh, contractual employees. So they are retention plan and leave and other facilities that are created within the organization. Holding performance pay, performance based pay. There are some traditional concept on incentive plans, Taylor plan, Hustle plan, premium plan, immersion plans are there, but which will be the new type of plans that outplacement and career uh, planning, succession planning, temporary uh, shutdown and also closer undertaking if it happens, what will be the perspective, employee communication and also overall HR policies as a whole as a strategic decision. So uh, after discussion all these things, it is my uh, privilege to announce I have already uh, this, uh, declared in the last Facebook session that we are going to uh, <clears throat> start one certificate program on HR metrics for performance measurement. I have just discussed the performance is important, acquisition is talent important and the strategic decision of the leaders in this perspective is very much important that where these HR will be given highest priority so that um, employees will get success, simultaneously organization can perform and within this crisis period we can get rid of the situation and economy can be strengthened. So on 17th August onward, Calcutta Business School will start its certificate course uh, on HR metrics. Basically we will teach some analytics uh, that are the variable that needs to be identified that are relevant to understand the basics of HR metrics to develop and save the HR analytics skill. We will teach key performance indicator. Uh, we will teach the human resource planning, its quantitative techniques, uh, including uh, transition probability matrix with the help of Markov model. Uh, we will develop the turnaround matrix, predictive analytics, uh, uh, then the human capital uh, report how to uh, submit, then human resource management indices, it is a strategic perspective, HRD strategy, HR audit and accounting and some areas related to workforce analytics and predictive analytics and at the end we will go for visual analytics with the use of uh, Tableau and other software. So I welcome you all in our uh, courses and I will request that students, outgoing students of social science, mostly specialization in human resource or any other specialization in management background and also faculty members, research scholars of different universities and institutes and industry practitioners, you can join. You visit our Calcutta Business School website from where you will get the detailed outline, registration form, etc. It is open up to 16th uh, of August, 5 p.m. Within that, we will close our registration. We have already got a number of uh, participants. So again, I welcome you all to join in this certificate course. You will really get some flavor that how to measure the HR variables, which will be a major input to measure HR performance in this crisis period to give and wait that the best talent. Thank you.